Good morning, everybody. Good morning from Humanitas Castelli. Today we are doing surgery for uh, iridocapsular zonoyoroid vitrectomy. The patient uh, is a patient that has been already operated for the retinal detachment and tamponated with the silicone oil. A few weeks after, developed this malignant glaucoma. The anterior chamber depth is 0.8 millimeters is with the corneal edema and the IOP is 44 millimeters on mercury. So the, this is a case of pseudophagic malignant glaucoma that may develop in eye with siliconoid the addition between the iris capsule and anterior yellow. So I usually place um, the anterior chamber maintainer and then I will do a keratosynthesis just to try to open the posterior synechia. I will then go with a vertical incision, corneal incision, because then I want to go with the cutter, in this case 25 probe cutter, to the anterior chamber, straight down to the peripheral iris, so peripheral iridectomy, capsulotomy, zonulectomy, yellowidectomy and anterior vitrectomy. As you can see here, you can see the flow going through. So now there is an open communication. So that's very important because if you do just a iridectomy with the YAG laser, it doesn't work. In this case, it works very well because this, there is an open communication between the anterior chamber, posterior chamber and the vitreous chamber. So Mm, then I'd like to close it up because uh, of uh, the vertical incision you can have the iris prolapse inside so this is a very simple and uh, the surgery is very quick and uh, you can uh, really get this resolution of uh, malignant glaucoma in uh, almost all cases. It's very rare to have the closure or the collapse of the communication that we have just made. Scissors, please. By the end of the videos, you can see a slide with the, the anterior chamber in six weeks after the surgery that uh, is uh, deeper and the pressure went to uh, 18 millimeters of mercury 
So the surgery by the hand went very well and it was very easy and fast. Thank you very much.